Hey everybody, it's Kathy P. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna I'm gonna cover a live that EKC did the other day, covering Nonsense's live where she was covering Molly. <laughs> it's a lot, man. Trust me, n no shade to Nonsense, but it's a lot of nonsense coming from EKC. Um, I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone with this one, but anyway, um, it is just my opinion. And this video is covered under fair use commentary. So, just stressing that because we all know they like to falsely strike channels. But anyway, everybody, let's just get into it. Okay, so we're just going to get into it here. Let's go. Off of her pre-recorded content. But I can definitely do, like, entitlement translator videos and stuff. Oh, yeah, the, the cat thing the other day. She's talking about something that doesn't have to do with it. Let me see I, um, if I can fast forward a little bit. History. I don't like the unpreparedness. Probably 15 minutes into it because she kept, she wouldn't turn off her microphone for like the longest time. And all you heard was this like really strong echo. She's it's talking so about nonsense. Fucking annoying. Like, like, and like, I think you can figure out how stream yards work, but it's not a stream yards thing. Um, you can download this, ec this other software <laughs> thing or whatever and, and apply it. And right now. It'll work for like a more than one recording device or monitoring yeah. device and stuff and that, that can cancel out. This has nothing to do with it. Just I'm going to fast forward a little bit, get into it. She's talking about KJ. We all know how obsessed with KJ she is. She says she's not obsessed oh. and doesn't stalk KJ, but yet everything she does, she can't do a video without KJ. And she brings up all her posts and all her comments and everything else. Yeah. AJ lives in her head rent free too. She lives in a couple people's heads rent free. Mm. Once again, you didn't quote your source of who you got that information from, but we all know because yeah, we've all we watched know. the videos. And for some reason, she really chaps your ass. And here's EKC not prepared again. Let's see if I can go again a little forward. Oh, let's theorize when it nonsense doesn't monetize your channel. Um, you see, here's the thing. Um, Why do you care? What's it to you? It could be because someone else is paying her. I don't know. It could be okay. because she figures out oh, I'll just monetize at some point. Okay, wait a minute. Who's paying her? Come on, Miss Theorizer. Who's paying her? Tell me. Tell us all, since you got this theory. Did it ever occur to you that some people do this not for the money? Because it's not always about the money for everybody. And you know what? It's her business if she monetizes or not. Not yours. Future, you know, when it's big and then, you know. Um, I think that she she did it as a kind of a fuck you. And she stuck with it cause, because of that. No, that's not why it was done. It was done because of what Molly and Justin and LB and Goose and creators like you have done to Dre and to Vaughn. To sh because there have been so many lies told and this whole narrative created where there was no story. The facts are being put out. That's what you people don't like. But let's get back to it. But it's not going to be long before she realizes how fucking stupid that was. Oh, okay. And she's, I think she's going to end up reneging on shit and just end up monetizing shit. Um, reneging. She never said she wasn't going to. She said that I'm not even going to get into it because that's nonsense is business. It's not hers to talk about. Number one, she claims she don't watch nonsense, but she does. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to fast forward through this part because she goes on and on about nonsense, not being monetized and the amount of money and everything. But you know what? My nonsense videos all get more views than some of yours. So, just saying. Maybe you're not making all that either. But, like I said, that's none of our business. Especially if she grows to be at all profitable. Yeah, she goes on about um, it. So, yeah. I'll let nonsense handle that part. Because I get it. I get business. doing something for not even self-righteousness or whatever, but just because it's something you believe in and you feel like you're doing good. Here's the thing. Like when I was, when I, and then she makes it about her. Spent all, right, all those, all that time. On 
that's what I'm doing. And I think this that's what's going to happen because I, I use or someone's copywritten material about. ended up being displayed or, or you could hear it. Um, Is she still talking about it? I'm guessing, I'm assuming you mean this email. I know she's talking about emails again. Oh, she's so unprepared. Twenty twenty-four. All right, I'm gonna try to fast forward again. All right, come on. Not there. Clearly unprepared. All right, let's fast forward again. Sorry, people. This is my trash, mind you, so. Alright, try uh, to go again. Yeah. I sound like a burger record again and again. That was on the 24th, if that's what it is. But why, I don't, whatever. What did they say? Did she say up here again now? You are live, you know. I'm sorry, just take it. She's too much quiet downtime here. Uh, I'm try to go again. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Health, mortality rate, all of this. All, all right, what about the, what? Do you really think, what about the people that are suffering in Africa? Do what does that have to do with it? Plan on you want. <clears throat> mm, you got a knows. lot more better than a lot Just of people in this world. Sit down. All this. The only person that needs to pull up a seat is you. Oh, wait, never mind. Your ass never leaves that seat. Okay, anyways, carrying on. Well, I mean, I'm sure she does other shit during the day, night, whatever, rather than just sitting in front of the computer. But, I mean, at least she's... That's what you picked to comment on? You really up Molly's butt behind, aren't you? You really looking for them super chats and stuff and sub support for Molly, aren't you? the balls to show her ass on that camera, right? And to reveal who she is, to, to put her own identity behind the shit she's saying and doing. Um, we know who she is. Um, do you not pay attention? Because if you have, you'll know. Agree with her or not, like her or not, I don't care. But she's at least putting herself out there. She's not hiding, so she can... She's putting herself out there, Molly is, yeah. You co-sign Molly's behavior, then you're in a group with her. So she can just be a fucking troll. N nonsense isn't a troll. Look up the definition. Um, Molly, how did you get people suffering in Africa out of what she said? Exactly. What she said was, we are taught basically horrible things about food and what we put consume in america she's not lying we are extremely advanced in medical technology she's not lying and we're still so far behind and doing this to our own population everybody can agree with pieces of that wait what? again you can interpret however you want but she is not complaining about her life and comparing her yeah, the United States, sure, no doubt, has a lot of mm. improvement that needs to be done in terms of health care. Um, but I think that's more or less in, in the availability of it, the excessive. No, we're not talking about that, EKC. Where, are you, where is your mind at tonight? Um, what's in that cup you're drinking so much of? Because you didn't listen to what is being said. My God. Oh, the affordability of health care and she wasn't talking about affordability or being able to get health care she was talking about how advanced we are with medical technology and how it is true we are we do eat a lot of garbage come on everybody could eat a little healthier i mean who could i could i could feed my kiddos a little healthier i'm sure who doesn't grab a grab them a happy meal when you've got a long day and it's just convenient you know or fast food somewhere so yeah it's not it wasn't about being able to get health care yeah quite so much as as much as to do with advancement i mean we don't we haven't discovered or created everything that's considered 
a huge medical breakthrough. No, of course not. But I think we, we've done quite a Okay, no one said we weren't. Did you listen to what was said? Maybe you should pay attention to what you're playing on your live instead of fuddling around with everything else. I mean, it's not like we're trailing here either. And no you know? one said I mean, we weren't. Sure, I mean, some of the shit we've done has, hasn't quite been as impressive as like Cuba. Oh, well, oh my God. Okay, working she's going to ramble a... on about this because she clearly didn't understand what Dre was saying or what Nonsense was saying. Fargo coming up with a, a cancer vaccine for certain types of lung cancer. That's pretty fucking impressive, uh, I must say. What does this have to do? Sure. Granted. They were talking about I mean, food. I think the United States has also done some good here, too. Wow. Um, <laughs> I, it, the yeah, United States I'm is a long way to go. Absolutely. But we're not some fucking third world country, even if some of our rates. No one say anything like that. What did you talk? Molly's the one that said about Africa, no one else. Bring her life to people in third world countries going through. That's not how, how the Until fuck. Now. First of all, you didn't even pay attention to what she obviously just fucking said. Exactly. Because you were like, uh. Hey, exactly. You suck at commentary. You fucking suck at oh, commentary. Oh, sorry. Let's just be honest. I The video we are watching is from Nonsense. I don't know. When did she upload this? Oh, today. She did this. Um, I only watched like a maybe a half an hour of it earlier. Mm -hmm. And sure. it was quite fucking annoying. And like I was saying earlier, I don't really want to give her much attention. Because I think if she was given any sizable platform, I think that she would definitely be, cause a lot more damage and harm to people than Katie Joy does. Um, what? Are you kidding me? Nonsense has not doxxed anybody. She does not harass, threaten. All she's done is put out proof with receipts, mind you. She can back up everything she's saying. And she has a right when people like you are on here spewing crap about her. But Nonsense can stick up for herself. She's my girl. I love Nonsense's channel. Go check it out. It's, it's great. And you'll love her videos. But, yeah. So for that reason alone, I don't really want to give her much attention. But I also feel like uh, then why are some, you of doing things, this? some of the things I heard, just I really want to address and I feel like should be addressed. Um, if you don't want to give her no attention, why are you doing this? Hmm. You know, and I may be wrong for that, but <laughs> I guess time will tell. <clears throat> um, remember, this channel is... Remember, go back and look. You're worried about staying on Molly's good side because you think it's going to get you more on YouTube. And get you some of them super jets she's known for giving out. But honey, she's turned on everyone. Go look at her her tracks. You'll see them all. You'll see all the people. But go ahead, E. Casey. It's cathartic for me. That's so. on you. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, that's who we're watching. Um, like I said, it was from today, nonsense's channel. And crazy broad. Wow. She's a crazy broad, huh? Okay. First and foremost, this is not your forte. Stick to talking shit. You're not even good at that, but you're better at it than this. Oh, I think she's pretty good at talking shit. I don't know. You should know. You follow her. Man. You don't see a lot of other countries. Both a lot of other countries that make the same thing in America. It's okay. That's why we want to sometimes. I think we even want to come here. Yeah, I know. Like, people migrate to America. You know, and all this other stuff. It's like, why do want to come here? I'm going to free my head. Okay. In case you haven't figured it out, which I'm sure you have, this is nonsense doing commentary on Molly regurgitating these Dre videos with the way she wants it to sound. Um, it's pathetic. And this is EKC giving commentary on nonsense, giving commentary on Molly, and now I'm giving commentary on them. How's that? A lot, but yeah, someone's had one too many of them cups there. You want to know something, Mr. Marvon McRae? Mm, yeah, I'm going to jump telling. in on that. Sure, you can think whatever you want about America, but the thing is, is that if someone, if people are migrating to a place where they know they're going to get their balls broken, they're probably going to be harassed and discriminated against and treated like shit just for the simple fact that they are a foreigner, then they must give you some sort of... What are you talking about? Dre is American. She was born here, you idiots. What on earth are you talking about? Dre's as American as you are. The idea of just how oh shitty the situation they're running from. That's why people are here. That, wow, okay.
I'll always be a voice for you, but I have to say, I'm very disappointed to hear you say that coming from a United States Marine. Wow. I'm not doing this to commentate on Molly here, but what she just said, Molly, you're disgusting. With all due respect. And EKC, and you're sitting there I ignoring it. Speaks that I would volumes. Ever hear a Marine say something like that. Are you? Are, do you live in a bubble? Yeah, like, a big literally. One. <laughs> do you live in a bubble? Or hey. Am I gonna call you bubble girl? I mean, I know you <laughs> think you're plastic and a Barbie. Come on, no, I, I know I'm commentating on EKC here, but you gotta love nonsense. <laughs> the Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Oh, please don't, don't sing, don't sing. Yeah, it's not that fantastic, first of all. But how have you missed the world that we... And that's all you can come up with, EKC, after everything Molly just said. Why am I not surprised? Some lights just don't get turned on, or the elevators don't go to the whole, to the top floor. Today. And how do you... I sing that song to my dog all the time. Her name's Punchy, oh, so you. we live in a punchy right. world. <laughs> We're the punchy girl. Mm. <laughs> I get weird looks. Yeah. Do you, once That's again, what you have can come up with any out of fucking that. opinion on what she said, or what Marvon said? Mm. Elevator, his opinion, don't go the whole way his to the top views. Floor. And to, now you're going to degrade him on a marine level because of his views? He's not allowed an opinion because it doesn't align with your opinion? Huh. What? Well, exactly. Lady. Oh, she's How do you get it. all that from what we just heard? Did you not just hear what Molly said? Did you not just hear what Molly said, EKC? Are you kidding me? You actually need to pay attention to the live you're doing instead of everything else you're doing. Because that's what Molly just did. She just put him down for having his own opinion. How do you get, where do you get, what led you to conclude that Molly is giving him shit because his opinion is different than hers? Um, probably because she just did. She just said how she was disappointed that a Marine would have that say that because he's entitled to his own opinion. Um, EKC, Molly just did that. Girl, wake up or end this live. Come on. But unfortunately, people, <laughs> it's going to get worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but it's, whoa, no one's See, home See, this now. is exactly what it looks like when someone is so obsessed with whatever it is their bias is holding hostage in their fucking mind. Are you self-reflecting like Molly does? Because that's you with KJ. Nonsense isn't obsessed with Molly. She doesn't stalk Molly's post. Every comment that she gets on a post or a live or a video or whatever. She doesn't, hasn't made the last how many years about KJ. Um, so I think you're self-reflecting because the obsession is with you. Like, that's, it's what you're doing. <laughs> Good thing he's not based on your morals, your ethics, your beliefs, because those are all shit. You're morally bankrupt. Ditto. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, you complain that nonsense keeps stopping and talking and not giving Molly a chance. You're not giving her a chance either. And what's being said is true. Come right over your head. To you, not to Molly. I don't even think you know what the word ethics means. <sighs> Shit. You spell ethics. All right, I'm getting petty. But, uh, okay. Can you spell ethics? So, continue to disrespect the Google victim it, right? as you have called him repeatedly. Continue to disrespect the man that you have profited off daily for months. Okay. I'm going to say this right now. If you have a YouTube channel and you talked about this story and you any kind of ad sense off the story, well, then technically by nonsense's point of view here, her framework, you profited off of this victim. Okay, that's the thing. This is YouTube. We're all Okay. Um, Molly has greatly profited off this victim, EKC. Where have you been? She has showed her checks, her views and clicks by putting out all these lies and misinformation about Dre and Vaughn. 
and attacking and harassing other people, doxing people, inciting hate. Where have you been? Spending our own time. This is time we'll be doing a million other things, but we're doing something that we feel connected in the community to. But don't get me wrong, it does fucking work at times, okay? And it's definitely draining and, and takes a toll on you. Uh, when you're Molly and you sit on live 18 hours a day, sure. She does nothing else. You, on the other hand, I don't understand. I think you've had one too many drinks. Just my opinion. And some of the content in which you discuss. But it's your time, it's your energy, it's your effort, it's your, your platform, it's your equipment, it's your electricity, it's all of that. You have every right to expect and to accept any kind of profit you can make from it. And, and really, when it comes down to things... Okay, there's a difference. Molly is a tragedy pimp. And she has no problem spreading lies and misinformation. And apparently you have no problem spreading Molly's misinformation. If you were to pay yourself by the hour, I guarantee you it's not profit. Oh, she's going to go on about this money. She's just so, money obsessed. In this consider video. that. Mm. Unless. How would you feel with your family, EKC? The control of someone like that monster. Mm. The only monster is you, Molly. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to be commentating be on everybody but EKC, but it's really hard to listen to Molly and not say something. Look wow. Jeez, you sure? This is like the second shot I've heard you take at her looks it's been since the time I've been listening to this dream. Wow. Um, Molly attacks everyone. Everyone, women, men, children, she don't care. And she destroys people and yells and screams and insults and cuts down people on the daily. Um, yeah, okay. I think I'm starting to see where some of the jealous stems from. Jealous of what? Please tell me what there's to be jealous of. I think that too fits you. And uh, I saw here in the chat. You're so desperate for Molly's attention. We've seen you in Dirty on the sale says, I used to sing Tony Basil's song, Oh Mickey, just exchanging the Nikki or the Mickey. No. Viva la Mexico. You know? Oh, yeah. I don't know what happened here. Sorry, people. Does that make you then? Because you know what? You were right there. Do Let me try to go back. Sorry, I'm just learning this, and somehow it moved ahead. Not there. Mm. Well, the investigator in the UK to share this information with them, but don't call me back. Like I'm guessing they don't care. No, I don't so, know what they're talking about um, here. I don't or still investigation. So, whatever. Yeah, I, know, I wasn't thinking. Whatever. I, I've been having a drink. Yeah, clearly. But why? I don't. Whatever. Can we get back into it? What did they say? Did she say up here again now? All right, let me try to fast forward. She's on something else. Where am I? Yeah, where are you? All right, so. Like, oh, just trust me. She constantly. Yeah, I'm not going to, even though we're early, we're not that early. So, all right, let's go. I'm going to pause it. If it's got a double echo, yeah, okay, yeah, she does. I knew I saw the screen of the hour lives. F that. F that. I rebuke all illnesses. Okay. Okay, Excuse you don't me. have control over that. It's planet sure. Earth. I do not claim suffering on my family at all. Listen, suffering's gonna happen to all of us. Okay, you are not immune to the world and all diseases. It's gonna happen to all of us. Hmm. Awfully insensitive considering someone in your position right now. Awfully insensitive. She's saying, I don't want my family to suffer from anything. Who does? What is wrong with what she is? No, what she's saying is people get sick. Okay. No, she's talking about Dre 
EKC, not Molly. Pay attention. Dre was saying she doesn't want her family to suffer from anything. And who does? People get sick. It's not necessarily the food you're eating or because you're not eating something oh, sure, all natural or whatever. A lot of the times we don't have much control over that. That's what she's saying. But for you to sit there and then just throw it up in her face or use it against her, like, oh, what, you sure you want to be the one saying that because you just found out that your mom is sick. Like, what the fuck is, what's your damage, lady? For real, like, what? And what's yours? Because you clearly don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> what is your fucking damage? Um, I just what is it that Molly did to you that's so fucking dusty that it has turned you into this fucking ugly person? What? Are you kidding me? Wow. I, I just, I'm not, you know what? Wow. I, I can't, but yeah. That's what I want to know. Oh my gosh. Not really. Know. It's not that, EKC. You don't, you have no clue really what's going on. Are you really that out of the loop? Come on. Nonsense has done nothing but put out the truth and try to show the facts with Ron and Dre and what's been done to them by these people, by Molly. It has, it's not Molly as per se that someone, someone hates. You really are out of the loop. She is actually saying in this video, Molly, what is wrong with it? Because I don't even care if you don't like her. She's not saying anything wrong that affects you in any way, shape, or form. You just need something to fucking talk about. Don't it's the commentary community. She's commentating in a video, much like you're doing right here, right? So, but it's okay when you do it though, because what you're doing it to show or like teach Molly a lesson or something, lady. This makes you, it, if you're, let's say for argument's sake, let's say that you're right and Molly is this horrible person for do, for talking about the things you're talking that she's talking about. What the fuck does that make you then? Um, Molly is lying and putting out misinformation. Molly is doing this to to attack Dre to go for Dre. Big difference. Big difference in things being reported. Big difference. Because you know what? You were right there doing the same shit. Only you're doing it not from a commentative to commentary point of view. You're doing it to be a spite bitch. A what? I don't think so. She's doing it and showing facts. It's called factual. Understand. Factual. There's a big difference in nonsense and Molly. Nonsense would never stoop and do the things that Molly does. And I don't know her that well. I just know her from being on here and on Facebook. But I'm telling you, she would never, just from what I see, would never know. How is that not worse? Huh? How is it worse? Because she's calling Molly out. That's what she's doing. She's calling you guys out on your crap on all your misinformation, on all the outright lying. Yeah, big difference. I mean, you think Motley is so ugly, girl, fucking, I'd break all the mirrors in your house and if I were you. About don't you, Molly? An ugly soul, yes. Very ugly heart. Look at what she's done to people. Don't worry, we're not done and we're gonna get into all sorts of shit today. You claim you don't know who I am. Well, honey, get comfortable because that little thorn in your ass, her name's Contessa, and she ain't going away. <laughs> Hemorrhoids <laughs> might be more comfortable than me. Okay. Oh, she was right. And now to be able Wait, what? to what was that? That, we need to be more conscious and mindful of what we... Okay. What her name's Contessa, and she ain't going away. Hemorrhoids might be more comfortable than me. <laughs> That's okay. good. That is might be good. Too. I could have I could have said prettier there, but I didn't. I stayed away from that. I thought that might have been a little uh, too petty. Okay, so I went with the intelligence and self. Yeah, the intelligence did, wasn't part of this video, would you? That's yeah. You hit that nail on the head. And now to be able to get us out of that, we need to be more conscious and mindful of what we put in our bodies. These are man-made diseases. Feel like, dude, what we're taught about food what? is so unhealthy. <laughs> How is America one of the most advanced 
country, and yet we are on like the worst statistics as far as health, mortality rate, all of this. All. All right. What about the what? Do you really think? What about the people that are suffering in Africa? Are you kidding we're me, back woman? Here again. What planet are you on? You got a lot more better than a lot of people in this world. Sit down. Oh, this. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward because be I think great. we did She's that part hot. already. That's why people are here. I'll I always be a voice for you, but I have to say. I think we I'm did this part already too. Somehow it backtracked. That Molly is giving him shit because his opinion respect that. Okay, this is where we left off. Situation between Dre and, and Mervon. And my first thought is he was a Marine. What kind of wife what kind of wife wants to disrespect this awesome thing he did in life? Like sure he may not she she's not she's not disrespecting it. Molly's the one being disrespectful. Because he has his own opinion. She doesn't approve of what he said. Who is she? Who are you? I've been a Marine anymore, but he still did it. It was still a part of him. It was still something he accomplished and he succeeded. He he followed through with. And you had a shit all over it. That's what it's What are you like talking about? I, I can't I mean, Molly's the only one doing that. You you need to reflect to Molly. Just hugely disrespectful, in my opinion. She wasn't being disrespectful, Molly was. Better, I think. She told Dre to go back to Mexico. Yeah, but she said she didn't see it like in Trump way. Oh yeah, she did. Which, uh, whatever. She didn't say it in like a like a walking through Walmart. Oh look, at they're speaking Spanish. Go back to the country. Um, Molly's done it. Yeah. It wasn't like that. It was. Chick said Viva La, Viva Mexico or whatever. Um, Dre's as American as us, and I've, I'm sure we've already covered this part, but for some reason it keeps moving back. I'll try to get through it faster. That's why she said it. Mm, okay, you keep believing that, EKC. Still might, but... Whatever. Yeah, you really don't understand what's going on. And people like support this. Zone. Tell me again how this bitch has a platform and any oh, i'm so happy to hear that for your uncle well, for you i mean i'm looking to see the video or anything she says i got all my clones and they're best dancing and singing okay i don't want to go through that so i'm going to fast forward she is not even paying attention to what's being said clearly you can see that but yet she's commentating out on things that wow i mean i feel like i'm in a twilight zone but I'm gonna try to go through it a little bit here. Buddy listens to the shit and believes it. And can sit here and say, yeah, that's my girl. I support this type of behavior. What? Molly, where do you think Andrea was born? Okay, I'm Not that that fucking matters anyways. No, but I mean, if you are an American citizen and you're rooting for another country, it... Okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with Dre want, wanting to, to also root for Mexico since, you know, that's where her family is from. But she was born here. But let's get over that already. Eight to ten words. Eight to ten words. Like, does she stop the stream every fucking ten words to come? And you do. You have. You're doing that. You're self-respecting again. Like Swear, Molly's camp all self reflects and blames it on everybody at else. At all, or anything of that nature, but he's a man who served our country. He's a Marine. He is entitled to his opinion and his view. Mm -hmm. You saw a clip. Again, a clip. I never sat down and had a conversation with him and understood his. Nope. I haven't done that. Sure as hell don't. Um, wow. Okay. But continue to... She's clearly not even paying Really? Can she continue? I mean, are you going to fucking let her this time? Jesus. Well, anyway. You don't either. Uh, this bitch either doesn't comprehend words or just doesn't let her... 
target enough words for interpretation out before dumping more trash on her dumpster fire cemetery. Mm, hey, and word. so do you. Word. That's exactly what you've done. Hey, Stop animal lover. She, she's going in. I'm going to try to fast forward a little How bit How does she think her commentary at Molly is? I, think I really don't care what her comments are. Is one of Dre's subbies. I think you might very well be right. No, nope, you're very well wrong. Okay. Very wrong. Um, right, so, because I want another one. <laughs> I'm going to make another I'm sure I'm going to show another everyone one. else. Or you're everyone already in. wasn't here in the beginning. Just drinking. Lost on what's going on so, being said. <laughs> there's this app. That uh, okay. someone from work told me about. It's called. I don't want to hear about the drinks. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was. It was Nutty Angel. I'm trying More. to fast forward. Uh, any kind of dairy product you want to shake very. Working their business there with we his go. wife. Just think you're about but to drink. But she has the right and the audacity to sit there like she's so above everybody else. Mmm. What? That's for sure. I, I can't with this one anymore. <clears throat> okay, whatever. Um, what was that? So that you have a very good point, you should be. In case you should post the drink contents on the community okay, tab. And then up. we let's get back fast forward a little bit more. That's crazy. Um yes, I think I'm definitely gonna do that. Maybe once a week, just like a new drink a week or something. But like on a regular no. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna think about that put it into motion. Thank you, Juby, and thank you, Claire, for the awesome idea. Thank you. Now, let me go back to getting annoyed by this chick. I really wish you would. I really wish you, you would. You go looking for something. Your bias shows. By the way you bias word your what? question. Point out facts? Okay, the specific way you word a question tells Google the kind of shit you're really, you're looking for confirmation bias, more or less. Mm. And it will more than likely provide it for you. Mm -hmm. So you're already kind of brainwashing yourself just by the way you, sure. run, you phrase your fucking question. Like, learn how to search Google properly, the correct way. Okay. You, you learn, learn dorks, okay? And Got some news for you. I've said things several different ways and got the same results. But you know what? You don't just look at what comes up. You also got to click on what comes up and read and understand what comes up. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can get to the information. You can get to just the, the information. Mm. But, okay, I'm traveling off here. Yeah, you are. So then you, about you get you your know. search results and you read. Reading. It's, it's not research. What? It, especially not when it comes to the shit that they're talking about. Like, Are you kidding me? Then why do people write papers and books and stuff on on subjects if it's not research? Wow. What are you drinking in them cups? Wow. And health and <laughs> medicine. I'm in Reading, the twilight she's zone. not research. It, it's not research. Okay. I mean, and if it were, you'd have to research your research. Like, you'd have to research the person who wrote what it is you're reading and exactly. all the things you read. You'd have to research the website, the company which runs the website, where their allegiances are. Um, mm. If they have a dog in the fight, more or less. You have to research your research. You have to vet your sources. You have to vet the information. Exactly. To That's what research is. And if you're not is. doing that, then you're not fucking doing research. You're brainwashing yourself. That's what you're doing. Okay. And all that requires well, you went, reading, but you're saying reading isn't computer. research. That's not how oh life my works. God, that's why I Everybody has their own opinion. Leaves how live that. I we work individuals. Wow. EKC's um, signals really. I don't bad. understand her absolute thought that she is so much better and can tell everybody else about themselves. And at the end of the day, I'm just gonna say this: I know what's coming up. If you don't understand that emotional trauma, mental health conditions, trauma, PTSD can manifest in physical symptoms, then we need to sit down and have a whole come to Jesus because trauma can absolutely manifest in physical symptoms. Absolutely it can. There's a thing called non-epileptic seizures, even. Pseudo-seizures. Do some fucking research, Molly. It might help you out some. 
And again, I'm not saying that's what he's suffering from or going through. I'm just saying there is yeah. absolutely from one. emotional things that can set. Yeah, up. Molly, go do your research. Go look and figure out all these crazy, weird fucking things that they can do and help excuse them away or help excuse Dre away from what it more than likely was. Never mind Occam's Razor or anything where like the most, most likely fucking solution or most likely answer is the actual answer. No, never mind that. Go do your research. Like, you just what do you think research will give you? The answers. Are you kidding me? EKC, come on. No, I, I can't. I cannot. Out of everything that's what's said, that's what you're coming up with. Uh, look, <laughs> um, everything she said is actual factual. Um, yes, mental illness does cause physical illnesses. Um, yes, see, there there are non-epileptic seizures. Um, why not go look it up so you can understand? It's called research, vetting what you're going to report on. Wow. She's trying to say that his seizures were brought on by PTSD from past trauma. Like, No, she was saying that past trauma, mental illness, PTSD, can you can exhibit physical issues because of it. And yes, you can. His seizures were non-epileptic seizures. They were still trying to find the cause. But Dre was not the cause, so quit saying it. And she's not even, like, mentioning the Marines or anything. She's mentioning, like, she's making it sound like she's insinuating that his ass trauma had to do with, like, his poem, like, growing up or something. Um, you need to go watch some of Dre and Bond's videos. I'm not even going to get into that with you. But, yeah, he's had m mental illness for quite some time. You need to do your research, but don't read or nothing because reading's not research. Now, that's your own words. But at least watch a video in its entirety, not a clip. She's saying that's what causes seizures. PTSD manifests itself in a physical form and causes seizures. Really? No, they, no, she's it saying, it no, that's, she said that mental illness can and does manifest itself into physical elements and yes it does possibly have been the fact that one of the top paparazzi consultants likely had a whole fucking house full of the shit that would was contaminated with lead and whatever else um his seizure started before that that's why they went on the alkaline diet that's why they started the natural holistic treatments you clearly don't know what you're talking about you really don't because if you did, you wouldn't be saying this stuff. At least I hope not. <laughs> and cause health problems for a lot of other people selling it and their families. I mean, hell, she was even saying that her chicken was having seizures. Lead? What? Her chicken. Okay? You need yeah, to do your research, Maybe the chicken honey. just had some past trauma, too, and it just manifested in PTSD or something. I don't know. And I'm not saying he didn't have PTSD or he didn't have past trauma. I'm not saying that at all. I don't know. That's not my place to say. Yes, he what had is more a, than likely a history of mental illness for a long time. You clearly don't vet nothing before you report on it either. You going by what Molly says? Girl, mm. And any seizures he was having, not from some past trauma that suddenly, out of the blue, years later, started to manifest in physical ways. No. Nah. That was more, especially since her daughter was having seizures too, right? Um... You need to go check your sources because there's been that stuff all started before this. Yeah, I'm not, I, I can't even break it down anymore because this video will be too long. I want to keep going. Said, so let's see husband, daughter, and chickens all live in the same house or same property. Mm. Yeah, it's more than likely something environmental than it is something I don't know, psychological. That's um, my thinking. But again, I'm not a house. professional. Don't take my word for it. For God's sake, yeah, don't please don't take her word for it. Try to fucking figure it out for yourself if you're not a professional. Talk to a professional. That's all I can say. But you for fuck's sake. Take your own advice. Realize that your bias is making you try and fish and stretch and find the, the most unlikely culprits for you to use as 
and offer up as some sort of excuse. So the No one offered it up as an excuse. She was doing commentary on what Molly and Dre were saying. The person you really fucking hate isn't listening to what they make what? sense. Yeah. You really... And um, you're using this fucking Marine to do it, basically. What? She's showing people that it his wife isn't the monster you guys have made her out to be. Do you think he'd have been okay with what's been done to Dre and his family? That's his family. It's Because you are ignoring the simple fact that What's the simple fact? What could realistically cause his seizures? Well, seems how the doctors didn't know either. Who knows, right? But it wasn't Dre because the seizures started before this. So it wasn't Dre or this diet or this holistic medicine. Vaughn himself didn't believe in modern medicine. Like I said, go watch a video, not a clip. You might learn something. Realistically, you're ignoring that to push this crazy fucking theory just to what? throw it at Molly. What theory are we pushing? The facts? That's not a theory. The made-up created story that Molly and you and Justin and LB and Goose have pushed. That's that's the problem. Off physical responses. 100%. Whether you yourself has had that experience, that's okay. There's people that when they get anxiety, they get a fever. There's no that's true. cause of the fever necessarily, but it's their body's reaction. It happens. There's yeah. a whole world of it that we can go in and talk about. Molly can't have that discussion, though, because she's not intelligent enough, even as a life coach, to understand this. But let's go. What the fuck is your excuse, then? I'll turn it back on in a second. Or my she does the same. She got herself another cup full. She does the same thing Molly does. Oh, we didn't hear Chad. Sorry, the echo. They don't pay attention. Sorry, I forgot to mute myself before I went over there. They comment on the stupidest I things. I need to actually like set this up so I can navigate like all these actual YouTubers. Uh, you need like a fucking five dollar pair of Bluetooth headphones. That's all you need. It's it. They'll okay, well, echo. people learn. Everybody got to learn. I, back when you started, I'm sure you learned, too. Did you hear what Marvon said? But you're said? so perfect. That's why you keep dragging this when out. When he started not, having not prepared. seizures, he mm. was fighting depression. I'm sure many people that have gone through seizures or had somebody that loved to go through them, depression is absolutely something that usually... Yeah, especially if you never really had seizures before and then suddenly out of... Um, yeah, he's been having seizures for quite a while. And yes, depression is part of it. Louis started having them like a lot. I imagine they would really weigh in anyone's emotions, you know, in a myriad of different different ways, mm. and probably even severely at times. I mean, yeah, it goes hand in hand with it. They're talking about that. Marvon himself is saying this, but look at Molly. She still is just in her, interested in her phone. She doesn't want to hear what he actually says about his life. Yo, make up your fucking mind. You want her to stop profiting off of him and talking about him and, and accusing him or blaming him or criticizing whatever you want to bitch about. Do you want her to stop doing that or do you want her to pull her fucking face out of her phone and start doing that more? Um, when you're on a live, sitting here trying to destroy this woman and put this woman down, you should pay attention and at least know what you're talking about. Because um, you're doing the same thing. <laughs> Again, your problem isn't with what she's doing. Your problem is, is Molly doing it? It's with what she's done. This whole mess she's created because there was no story here. This was about a man that tried to unalive himself. It was a private, personal story. They turned this into a circus and tried to make her out to be some kind of criminal. When Dre did nothing, and you're co-signing it, sickening. 
And Molly needs to quit talking about him. She's regurgitating this for views and clicks for money, for content. Everything pointed back to the doctor. We've been to the hospital so many times. Every time there's a check done, nothing ever shows anything. Everything looks perfect. Every x-ray, every MRI, everything looks like normal. Nobody can figure out why he's having seizures. Really? Really? And we go to the hospital for some money. Well, you sent me on the video the Marvon I like going to the hospital. She, once again, doesn't get a contest that this is an older video. So? Obviously, you can see that it's an older video. Anybody that's been paying attention knows this. So as things changed in their life and as conditions changed, people get fed up with going to the doctor. The hospital. Yeah, but that's not what she said. Listen to what Molly said here. Well, it's a very question. What did Molly but... say here? She once again doesn't give con. We have a video of Marvon don't like going to the hospital. Marvon don't like going to the hospital. He doesn't like it. He doesn't. He doesn't like it. We all do shit we don't like too. She just said that he doesn't. You really are out of the loop because this is an older video. This is when they were back when the seizure started and they were trying to figure out why he was having them, what the cause was, and what what could help. And then he did get disgusted with going to the doctors and he decided he didn't want to do, he wanted to do the holistic thing. Like it. You, this is what you picked. This is what I mean. You picked the things to comment. It's like, she, whoa. She, once again, doesn't comment. Oh, I am in the Twilight this Zone. This is an older video. Obviously, you can see that it's an older video. Anybody that's been paying attention knows this. So as things changed in their life and as conditions changed, people get fed up with going to the doctor to the hospital. It's very depressing. Anybody with chronic illness understands this. Again, you claim you have all this chronic illness, but for somebody that has all these chronic oh, illnesses, oh, 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 why, 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 why aren't you finishing that thought? You like you just stopped. You did a uni rock right there, which what you did. You started saying something. You stop saying it, and then you jump right to something else. Finish that thought. What were you going to How say? How do you know she wasn't oh, finished? It's, it's common knowledge. Whatever people what get that going, and what? Then they do what? They decide they don't want to go anymore. Because this exactly. is what Molly said. People Molly do just that said that he didn't like going. He didn't like it. She didn't say, oh, he didn't want to go. You said that he didn't want to go. You said that he stopped going or he refused to he, go. No. He did. But that's not what she said, but it sounds like... See, you, you're so out of the loop here. This is a series of, of events that have been going on. And you clearly don't know the facts of this of what's been going on. Because you wouldn't be saying the things you do. It's, that's where you're going with this. Because, once again, you don't hear what's being said. You no, just, you don't. Self-reflecting there again remnants of it and you just fucking think you know exactly what they're mm. thinking and what they're wearing. Uh, like I said, this, this has been going sad. on for a while. You're out of you the know? loop. I mean, if, if you're going to hate on someone, at least fucking make sure it's legit hate. You know, it's not like some shit. You Where have you been? I know I keep asking you, but have you been in your own little bubble? I'll borrow, borrow nonsense as words. But honey, where have you been? Wow. You're imagining in your head. Okay, she just said he didn't like it. And you're still on the tent, right? He can he hate like it. it. You don't know the meaning of that. He, can he hate has it. tried to say that he wasn't getting any medical care. It's proving otherwise, isn't it? Go. You don't know. Zero empathy or sympathy for anybody else but yourself. Oh, yeah. And that. You just, you just accused her of being what? Full of shit about chronic whatever? Like, why? Because it's true. Why do you think she's full of shit? Oh, that's true. Because it's true. Like just face it. That's why it has nothing to do with liking her. Like her. Which if I mean, we watched her lie and lie over and over again. You don't again. have to believe her. Whatever. You know, just own it, man. Just own it. What, what, what are you talking about? To me, is really interesting because people with chronic illness absolutely understand mm. on a completely is it just different me level. Or you seem to not. Never mind. So I have questions. Again, I have questions. Come on. She's got another full cup. All right. I'm going to try to get through it. There's been more so than... many times I called 911 because like, she has small seizures. Or Tom is chronic seizures. I mean, eyes roll back in the, this head. 
bite convulsion. There's just a lot of things that happen when you have seizures. In my opinion, in my humble, unprofessional, I'm not a third opinion, I what he did was release all the trauma that my husband had stuck inside of him and released it. And it came out in a physical form. Look it up. I don't it's true, help. Casey. Everything, it everything does happen all the you, time. Don't do your own research. Don't take what I'm saying. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. As that's just I can't just sit here and not fucking say this. I, I know it's going to come off as very heartless. And again, I'm not blaming her for anything. I'm really not. But just holy yes, fuck. Yes, yeah. I mean, I don't know if she has education, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that she doesn't have any, um, like, university education. In and she said that. Care or medicine or, like, the human body in any form. So to then feel like you have some sort of place to be some sort of voice of authority on such matters regarding someone you love um you do when it's someone you love um she's also telling people not to take her opinion on it to go check it out for themselves she's stating this is her opinion and yeah when it's someone you love mm, yeah like ekc I can't admit, like, I mean, I know people break my butt, whatever. It, like, yeah. I act, I don't Why act I like feel I know like everything. I don't know everything. And, and I do think I do know a little bit about a lot of things. And mm. But that's, I know that that's the extent, <laughs> that's the, the limit of my knowledge on the, those things. Okay. I know that. So I'm not going to advise anyone in these areas. She's not, well, wait a not, minute. She's not advising anyone. She's stating her opinion and she's telling people to go check it out for themselves to not go by what she says. So how's that advising? When you tell someone to go look it up, go check themselves, not to go by what you say. I'm going to entrust myself to advise someone I love. She's not advising again. What made her think that she fucking knew better? What made her think? It's her family. And yeah, you do know what's better for your family. She's not telling anybody it's what's better for them. She's saying it's what's better for her and her family. That she had a place to make these decisions for any other human being, let alone someone she was married to. Um, You do when you're married. Yeah, when your family, you do. And she's not making these choices for anybody else. Like, I mean... I just don't get it. Like that's that's just you really don't. Up. You're right. Yeah, that you're very right there. You really don't. <laughs> I just you figured really out don't. why Molly hates her so bad. She wants people to go do their research and find out facts on their own. Is that what just encouraged? No. If she really want, if Dre really wanted people to fucking go do their own research and find facts, then she wouldn't be saying go do your own research. She would be saying go talk to your healthcare professional. Go. Um, that is part of research. Come on. We're really not in the twilight zone. We're in the cup zone. That's what she was saying. What do you think research is? You go read things. You talk to people. You look things up. You find out. She wasn't giving anybody advice. She was voicing, saying it was her opinion for her family to go do your own research and make your own decision. Talk to your physician. Oh this is what she would be saying. Get the facts from an expert. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Google. Don't she listen did to say that. Go fucking talk to your doctors. She, she did say, say don't listen to this me. It's not what she's saying. She's not. Oh, yes, she she's did. trying to kind of manipulate the pathway for her. How? By telling people to go do their own research is manipulating? Follow this. Go to this website. Talk to this person. Listen to this person. Read up on this person. Read up on this. She's trying to guide them to the same fucking conclusion she led to. That's not doing shit for yourself. That's doing it for them. It's meeting them there. It's leading. <laughs> I, I, I can't do anything but laugh. I, I swear, I, I know I keep saying it, but we're in the twilight for themselves. Hey, y'all, popping in. Yeah, um, I just saw uh, some comments. Please be five months to 
and trying she's, to fast forward here, people. And fuck that. With... If this doctor can do something as powerful as that, even more do we need to protect who we keep around she's, us. She's trying to blame the doctor. No, she's not. This isn't the video that you wanted, Molly, to try and spin that. Anyways, what? Uh, you know what you were being for? That this isn't it. Uh, just so you know, though, how is she, or I've got a question, not so, you know, cause none of my questions really ever get answered, but I like to ask. No, anyway. they do. They do. What the fuck mistake? They really fucking do get answered. But the thing is, when? is, whenever you hear an answer or you get an answer that you don't. When are the questions ever answered? We've as many, many, many people have been asking questions since the start of this and no one's ever got an answer. They've gotten harassed, blocked, screamed and yelled at, threatened, hated on, had people go after them because they've asked questions. So when? Like or you don't want to hear, you just fucking pretend that it never existed to begin with. Okay, that doesn't now mean that may be get it. It means your little space up there in your head, it. but not this case. You really are not. Steak did she make by making this loop. video years ago? <coughs> what mistake me. did she make, Molly? <coughs> How are you going to make this a couple year old video fit part of your story now. What's your She's spin? She's trying. Oh wait, it's coming up. Hold on. Yeah. This doctor better. I hope this doctor knows. So, I mean, this is how invested in their lives they are. Look at this. I mean, you leave the live. You don't realize what you're commenting on. Oh you don't God. bet. In our circle. That's also why whenever I would get Before all kinds of comment. negativity on my videos, and I'm already dealing with so much negativity in my real life, I don't want to go live. It's hard for me. And I'm Trey, I really wish I could talk to you. Trey, honestly, I really wish that I could talk to you. I don't think it matter. I don't think it do anything. All right, let's do it. Um, Why? I, uh, EK, see, why would you even comment on that? What good could Molly do? She's done nothing but harm. So, yeah, you're right. It wouldn't do any good. It would just cause more damage. Throw me a number one in the chat if you think Grace should talk to Molly. Throw me a number two in the chat if you think no way in freaking hell should Dre talk to Molly. Well, I mean... Contessa's voting a two straight. Person. I don't think it hurt. I don't think it's going to do any good either. So it wouldn't hurt. Look at what Molly has done. Look at what she's done. Like I said, you're either out of the loop or you're just totally clueless. What do you guys think? Tell me, number one, yeah, Dre should call Molly. It would be amazing. The best thing she could ever do. Or number two, if she should. Stay the hell away. Like, yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, the chat speaks clearly. Just was wondering if I was alone in my own thoughts there. Not, not on the internet. Wait. Do, do you think nonsense would try to come out and talk to, talk to Molly? Like, <laughs> uh, I wonder if that Molly would, do would never have the balls. Molly, do you think it'd do any good no, for Molly to talk to nonsense? Maybe. Nonsense has given her open and any time. Molly would never come up on panel with nonsense without her whole army behind her because she ain't got no balls. Sorry, that's just my opinion. Explain some basic shit to her or something? I don't know. What can Molly explain? The lies? That. The misinformation? No, she will never face nonsense because she knows nonsense has the facts, knows the truth, and knows what Molly's done. Just like we all do, except you. Bubbles. Uh, I'm so confused. Dre, I have you seen the love of my life changing? And, <laughs> I, and I called this girl and I told her. And I you think you're so gone. funny. That's not funny. Do you want me to replay all the times that you called her? And told her you could help her. You deleted those or put them on members only. But I have all of them if you need them. Do you want me to replay all of them? When you called her numerous times. And offered help. Because you're this amazing life coach. Oh, that's that scary. can't even fix their own shit. Whoa. What, what exactly are you going to do to help Dre, Molly? We've been asking that all along. 
what is she suggesting is wrong with her own shit? Like, what? Have you never seen Molly's behavior? Molly's clearly not a happy person. Because somebody who's so happy wouldn't, and it has such a good life, wouldn't be so hateful and angry towards others, especially other women. And yeah, that's her insecurities. All you gotta do is watch her for five minutes and you see it. But yeah, if Molly was had such a great life and was so happy, she wouldn't be on YouTube 18 hours a day spewing hate and always putting people down and inciting pe harassment. But yeah, go ahead, EKC. Molly shit, I mean... I don't know Molly all that well, for granted. Yeah, but, but let's you see. try, um, and we see it. She she seems to have a very, you know, a nice house. They they're, seem to be managing just fine. She seems to have raised a very, like, active and engaging, like, young man. Um, she herself seems pretty put together and happy. <laughs> She's <laughs> capable. And that's what um, I feel like I'm in. You can, lo you can love her or hate her. I don't care. It's not even about that, but... She doesn't seem to be struggling with some sort of turmoil shit. Have you ever watched her behavior? Clearly you haven't. Clearly you haven't. Either that or you've had a couple of them cups before you watched it. Why are you so desperate for attention from Molly? Why? Whatever in her life right now. You want to be her next she victim? doesn't seem to be dealing with any kind of addiction. She doesn't seem to be dealing with any kind of abusive situation. She doesn't seem to be dealing with any kind of mm -hmm. problems with the law or something. Or like <laughs> that's a, coming. A strained relationship with and her kids happened. or her parents or her family or what. Like, what shit do you think she doesn't have together that she needs to work on? Uh, go watch some of her lives. Go watch some of her behavior. I'm curious. Mm hmm. And not enough to go do your own research. Nothing so far has helped anybody but you. Really? Okay. Has it helped anybody but Molly? Not Seizures, really. And I'm always like, is this seizure going to be the last seizure that takes him out? He's... Bingo! Yeah, Molly didn't even talk that time. Love she talked. People. He has had... Oh, okay, see, stop. Because you're not giving me... Yep. Clip it. I just realized Molly's not even really talking on that much. She's commentating on Dre's fucking stream. That's what she's doing. She's not even commentating. No, this isn't Dre's stream. Fucking stand Molly. How much she has to be missing puzzle pieces. Obsessing about Molly. Is she has to just hit Molly on the screen, and she can be talking about anything else? But so long as Molly's there, she's okay. Yeah. Look at people. No one's obsessed with Molly like you are. We don't want her to. Seizures, and I'm always like, is this seizure going to be the last seizure that takes him out? He's. Bingo! Oh, okay, she did talk there. My bad. Collect yeah, people. Oh, I thought that. Oh my god, I thought that it was nonsense. This voice. Oh my god. She no, sounded you're just, just like not nonsense paying attention. There. <laughs> like I said, what's that? Do 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 do. Dre just said that she's worried that the seizures. Molly, that's not what happened. So what are we clipping here? I don't even know what Molly meant there. What do you? He, how do you know? Didn't oh, we end know. up in a coma because of because we're in the loop. That's we pay attention to what's going on. You don't claim that anybody's made, even though you guys tried to say that that was not possible. I didn't, and didn't take happen. it that way. She didn't tell everybody that he ended up in a coma. Is it just me? I didn't take it that way. I took what Dre was saying, meaning she was talking about his seizures. She she would wonder after every seizure, is this going wow. to be his last seizure? That's what she was saying. She didn't say that. He's in the hospital now. Will, will that have been his? I mean, what do you, what? Which I'm kind of curious though. And yeah, I, I asked this question be. on one of Renell's videos. I'm curious if if Marvon has continued to have seizures since he's been hospitalized. Uh, I mean, I, I am. I'm just. I'm kind of curious. I mean, I don't need to know or want to know anything else. And really, I don't even have to know the answer to this. But I'm kind of curious because I feel like that could maybe. Repeat. I don't know. Give some insight, I guess. Oh, what did I just do? God damn it. Hi, people, people. Love. Not that I don't love seeing you. He your was face. Set no, to meet her for two weeks. His mom didn't see him. But you're trying to tell us that that's what he intended on doing. But when She's great voices. he did do that, he turned around and went right back. But these weren't his choices. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. They start back too far. <clears throat> like Leticia. You only like the grandma. 
because the grandma has the house. What house? I don't understand that. Just in case well, really anybody is confused at all, the grandma is actually Marvon's great grandmother is his adoptive mother. She raised him since Marvon was a young child. Wait a That's minute. what she's talking about. I thought his grandmother raised him. No. Oh, no, wait, no, it was his great-grandmother. That's right. It was. Okay. She clearly does not have a clue on what has transpired in this case. Because if she does, wow. Like I said, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do the Twilight Zone. And I'm terrible at making sounds. But anyway. Marvon was adopted as a toddler. He was in the care of his great-grandmother, his great-grandfather, who adopted him. They were his parents. The house she's talking about, we're going to get into this because this is ridiculous right here. Molly, you're pathetic anyway, but go. Letitia's grandmother. So, okay. My bad. But let's let her continue because she's setting up this motive. Mm-hmm. I believe the motive is to get closey close to grandma so that when grandma passes away, Marvon gets the house. Marvon passes away, you get the house, you sell the house, and you move away to Savannah. Bingo! Wait, what? Molly, shove your bingo. Because had you been paying attention to Dre's videos, one of the main reasons they got that camper was because his grandmother, his mother, the woman who raised him, his mother, the woman who adopted him, who took care of him, was there for him. His mother sold her home. She's in a nursing home herself. And there was things that she wanted to pass on to Vaughn so they were going down to pick those belongings up. You idiot. It was never about no house. The house was being sold. You're an idiot. Isn't that where... Wouldn't the house be in Savannah already? I don't... You're lost, DKC. I don't... I don't... Okay, I'm completely lost on... Yeah, you really like, are. Like, where did we... Why are we even talking about motive? Let's Ask just your buddy process Molly. this for a second. So Since you go what to her she just information. said was that, A, there's no legal connection between Letitia and Marvon because if great-grandma passes away, there's Marvon is considered was. next of kin. Therefore, he would pot potentially inherit the home if that was what it was set up in the will. Yeah, that's Wait, What? Oh, my God. Yo, you can have a legal connection to 50 fucking people and choose who the hell it is that gets your property. Okay, but this is in response to a lot of things, EKC. You really needed to understand the whole story on what's going on to do this commentary, and you clearly didn't. A legal connection has nothing to do with it. If it's the grandmother's, if it's the great grandmother's property, well, guess what? The great grandmother gets to choose out of anyone in the world she wants to leave her fucking shit to. There doesn't have to be a legal connection. That doesn't matter. So why are you sitting here saying, see, she... Because of the way they've done this story with Letitia. She has no legal rights to Vaughn. The right. See, you don't know what's going on or you don't care to know. But you should have at least talked to your buddy Molly and got the misinformation. Because you are so lost and out of it. Admit it. There's no legal connection. So, you know, it's, what? Like... Wow, you're just anything to throw a dig at Molly, though, huh? It's not about throwing a dig at Molly. Molly just finally admitted that Miss Letitia has no legal rights to Marvon. The one she needed an attorney, needed all these attorneys for to fight for. She has no legal standing. It's about the whole case, EKC. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Um, so she admitted that there's a legal thing without realizing it, but her no. motive is that she thinks that Dre is yes, trying to get in close to the great grandma so that when great grandma passes away, Marvon would inherit the house. That's not what she said. In Savannah, I'm assuming the great grandmother's house. 
even though they have a house in Yuma also. But then Marvon would inherit the Who house, house and then potentially if... Juan and Dre live in Yuma, EKC. They own their home in Yuma. He passes away, then Dre would inherit the home. You realize that the great-grandmother could just leave it to Dre. Like... Uh, exactly. Molly's the one saying this. This was her boom bingo moment here where she busted Dre on this, on this, that she wanted the house. Number one, the house was already sold. Why well, Molly even made it before Molly did this. All she had to do was watch a video to see. That's one of the main reasons they got the camper to go down there to pick up the belongings because Dre couldn't borrow her mother's. So they got their own. It was Molly's big mic drop moment that she had Dre right where she wanted her, that she could prove what she wanted. It's all misinformation because, once again, like you, Molly vets nothing. Instead of watching a clip here and there, she should have bothered to watch a whole video. She doesn't have to get it through Marvon. So. Okay, I want to fast forward through this a little bit because yeah. this is a moot point anyway. The house was sold. Um, I got to hear this again, though. And then she of would move she to Three, Savannah six. or sell the house because you said she would. And you move away, away see close. Why would to she move to Savannah? She had no desire to live there. <laughs> I believe the motive is to get closey close to grandma. Well, you believe wrong. You're wrong, Molly. Big flop on your mic drop moment. So that when grandma passes away, Marvon gets the house. Marvon passes away, anymore. you Let's get the house. A bit more. Let's just process this for a second. So what she just said was that, A, there's no legal connection between Letitia and Marvon because if Never great grandma was. passes away, Marvon Since is was considered adopted. next of kin. Therefore, he would potentially inherit the home if that was what it was set up in the will. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. If it's set up that way in the will. Um, so she admitted that there's and your a legal thing without realizing it. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that great-grandmother's got more than one fucking kid or grandkid to think about. Like, what makes you think Marvon is going to get out? And okay, well, she's, this is what Molly's stating. So go ask your leader, Molly. She's the one putting this misinformation out there. Isn't isn't the great grandmother still alive? I mean, I thought that that's what I heard. Why would she leave a house to someone in a coma? No, I mean, I don't believe that may sound crass or whatever, but you're but gonna leave the house Molly. to someone. She's you're gonna the one leave it this. because you you want them to utilize the house. This was Molly's big mic drop moment here. She had Dre. She figured her out, and it's all bull crap. Because the house was sold prior to this, prior to the attempted unalivement. That's why they got the camper, because they were going up there to get to pick up some things out of the house. To enjoy it, for it to give them some sort of ease in life or whatever, to mm. benefit a family, you know, benefit the person receiving it. Like, I, I don't know why she would leave it to Marvana at this point. Ask your buddy Molly. It would make more sense to leave it just straight to Dre, really. But her motive is that she thinks that Dre is trying to <clears throat> get in close Excuse to me. the great-grandma so that when great-grandma passes away, Marvon would inherit the house in Savannah, I'm assuming, the great-grandmother's house, even though they have a house in Yuma also. But then Marvon would inherit the house and then potentially... If he passes then, away, then Dre would. And then how do you know she's even talking about the house in Savannah? Or because it's Grandma's house in Savannah. Vaughn and Dre own their own home in Yuma. Check it out. Moving to Savannah or wanting? How do you? Where do you get this the goals from to be in Savannah? If there's a house in Yuma too. That's where Vaughn and Dre like, live. You clearly know nothing. The home. Wow. And then she would move to Savannah oh, I'm sorry. or sell the this house because you insane. said she would sell the house, but then you said she'd move to Savannah. Why the fuck would she move to Savannah, first of all? With your little boom. 
Yeah, it no, was a bad boom because the house was sold. How does that make sense at all? I can't believe you're sitting there sticker in a labyrinth like that, EKC, because you sounded just as stupid as Molly right now. And mm -hmm. why would that even be something that's being discussed within the family? The only money motives that have been involved in this have came from one certain side. Don't try to twist that fact ever because you won't be able to. The facts are... Well, if that's true, then wouldn't it stand to reason that the whole money motive, desire, or whatever, is coming from Dre's side as well? Since there's a cash app and a GoFundMe, whatever set up. Okay, how is profiting off Marvon on Dre too? Number one, that was just recently done by people out of the goodness of their heart. The, Dre has nothing to do with that. She didn't have them put that out there. Molly, on the other hand, for over five months now, has been pushing his fundraising for his biological parents that didn't even have a relationship with him and never used the money for what they claimed it was for. And even after going to visit, they are, were still getting donations. But yet it's Dre, the one that has the three children to take care of and the husband in a coma that requires out-of-pocket expenses. That's who the fundraising should be for. Not for Molly. Not for Leticia, not for the Jacksons, for Dre and the children. For Dre, just like there was for other family members? No, that's no, there hasn't been. You're wrong. That just started and it was put out once on a Facebook page by someone. But they've been doing this for months and months and months for the Jacksons and Leticia. Yeah. I mean, if one is guilty of it and the other one does the same shit, doesn't that make the other? No, Dre's not doing the same shit. She hasn't come out here and lied and attacked and harassed and incited hate. She hasn't doxxed people. She hasn't destroyed people for asking questions. Totally different. Totally different. They're collecting funds on false pretenses that they for visits, for lawyers. It's all crap. There's been no transparency. There's been nothing. But yeah, Dre should be raising money. The one guilty as well? I mean, stand to reason, right? Facts are the facts are the facts. People that have no legal connection, yes, there's a blood connection, a biological connection. And that's it. Are more concerned about counting the money. Yep. You don't need a legal connection. Unless there's no will. Then maybe you need a legal connection. Well, you know what? You need to tell your friend Molly that because Molly's insisted all this time that Leticia and Mr. Jackson have all these rights, but they don't because Ron was adopted as a very, very small child. They have no legal rights. There's a whole story with this that you're not putting together, EKC. You're sounding but it sounds like there might be wills. I mean, there's talk of a will. You don't need a legal oh, connection. Geez. What does that matter? That's what she Unless gets out you're of just, this. you realize that you're running out of steam here, and so you're just. Um, no, the only one that's regurgitating all this and all this misinformation is your buddy Molly and you. Pulling from shit that's worked in the past, you think? So you're just still fucking throwing these this shit at fucking Letitia for giving up custody? I mean. No, it has nothing to do with giving up custody, even though she kept her other kids. But it's about what they've done, how they've tried to say Dre tried. Molly has come right out and said that Dre killed him. She's called her a murmurer. Come on. There is no criminal investigation. There is no case. They had no legal case of any kind, but yet they've been collecting money for it. I can't imagine warring with someone in the strongest arsenal that I or strongest arsenal or weapon in my arsenal is to drag a mother who gave her child up for adoption. So he no one is dragging her for that. What they're what's being said is what she's done here. It's not about she never told anyone the truth. She's posted from the get go for money for donations without 
and misinforming people. It's what she's done here. It's not about her giving him up. It's about the hate, the destruction, the harassment that they've done to Dre, and she's co-signed it to his children, to sending people to their home for videos, calling CPS hundreds and hundreds of calls to the police. That's what's being talked about. They have a better life. It's not about her giving him up. And I don't think she had much choice in the case because the state was involved. Make that make sense. The only people with motives that have had anything invested in this story have been you and the family members that you've associated yourself with. So then what's Dre's motive now? Okay. If that's true, then what the fuck is Dre's motive now with these these donation revenues? Uh, Number one, Dre never put it out there. And this was only done recently by someone from a Facebook group that cares and knows the hard times Dre's going through because of you people, because of Molly, your friend, and LB and Justin and Goose, she can't make her money on social media like she was. She's got a lot on her plate and she can't even work and support her family because of you people. Yeah, the fundraising should be for her, not for these other people. Huh? And I'm not saying that that's what Dre's after. I don't know Dre. I get nothing to say about Dre. Well, yeah, you did but say I'm that. I'm just pointing out here that if it's true for one, then what makes it not true for the other when it's the same fucking thing? No, it's not the same thing. They're saying they needed money for attorneys that they don't have a case for, and they can't get in to see their son. Even after visits, they still are collecting, say, spewing this misinformation. They have destroyed this woman. And they still, to this day, are collecting money, from what I understand. So you tell me how that's right. Because a week ago, someone put out Dre's PayPal or Cash App and explained the situation she's going through. It's not the same. You cannot even classify it as the same. You really, really need to check what you're talking about. Not to pin anything that there's a motive about a house. (laughs) <laughs> Why haven't Mrs. you asked about Mrs. Cassandra, from what I understand, no Molly Golightly did not show her tits Or wait, are you MGL? No, you said MGL, you didn't say Molly Golightly You said Michelle, right? Michelle goes live I don't know what the fuck she did This has she nothing to do with it, but you're wrong Maybe. again I don't know one way or the other, I'll be honest Um. Yeah, EKC Molly did on Michelle's live. She went up on panel. She set it all up. You could see her getting ready. You could see her getting the chair ready. You could see her getting herself ready. It was done on purpose. Shady behavior, thinking she could get Michelle's channel taken down, but it backfired on her, but it didn't work. But yes, EKC, once again, you're in the Twilight Zone because she really did do it. But I, Molly and I had this discussion when she was on panel the other night. And that's that's not what she Molly herself did not physically show herself honest. Oh yes, she did. So she lied to you, and now you're lying. Green. She most certainly did. But yeah, to hear them talk about it, that's exactly what happened. It's it's exactly what happened. All right, I'm gonna let this go for like five more minutes. I'm gonna wrap this up because I went. I'm over just two hours, just over two hours at the moment. It's about how the great grandma's doing, his adoptive mother. Why are you so focused on Letitia and Wynette only? Well, because no one's even heard of from the great grandma. I'll be honest. I thought, considering the fact she was a great grandmother, for one, and the fact that no one's heard of or from her, really, I assumed that she just no, was no longer with us on this. Okay, the reason why they kept it a seat, it tried to keep it hush-hush and keep her out of it, because it didn't fit the narrative they were spinning. They came out lying from the get-go, Say, did not telling people that Letitia and Mr. Jackson were his biological parents whom were never married, which doesn't matter, but it is part of the story. Anyway, that's why. They don't talk about her. They don't ever consider her. It's always been Letitia's the mother. No, Letitia was not his mother. She gave birth to him. That's it. The woman that adopted him and raised him is his mother. And I wouldn't come talk to none of you people either. 
but the woman is also elderly and has been a, harassed by family, biological family members as well. Apparently she is, though. So that's a good question. Why hasn't she spoken up here at all? Like, why I'm guessing she? She, she didn't do. She didn't create none of this. This was created by Molly and Justin and LB and Goose and Letitia and the Jacksons and you and a few other creators. This was not put out here by Dre or by his mother. So why should she? She owes you nothing. None of you. Why you have attacked and destroyed her family. She sat back and watched what you guys have done to Dre and to Marvon's memory. And to Dre's children. She just doesn't want the fucking drama. She thinks the whole thing's stupid and she just wants to pray for her grandson. Because there was no story. Great -grandson. I'm guessing that's what story. it is. And yeah, maybe other people should be, I don't know. Maybe this is something that should be moved on from. But the thing is, is that when it was pretty much from the time that it was discovered or is established that Letitia got to see her son. Sure. They may have pushed the fundraiser or whatever to continue helping Letitia in this. Continue helping her with what? With what? They did not may have, they pushed that fundraising so hard, but then Justin said there never was a fundraiser. So which is it? Situation. But that was that. They were moving on. They were already when? talking about other cases. They were, when were they moving on? Because these are old videos that Mar M Molly's regurgitating and putting up and commenting on. Molly has not moved on. She does not. She's admitted herself when she don't do this dramatic stuff, her views are way down. When she does the other things, her views are way down. She does this dramatic stuff to get the views and the clicks for the money. She's admitted it herself. She's never quit putting. The other day she put a three videos in one day about Dre. She's never moved on. Are you kidding me? more or less moving on no they have these other channels kind of popped up and became very vocal and they just kept bringing shit up going through timelines just um they kept busted calling molly out on all her lies and misinformation molly and justin and lb and goose and creators like you yeah these creators like nonsense uni rock down a rabbit hole news missing puzzle pieces kool-aid they showed facts yeah, there's some clip channels. Kool Aid's a clip channel, but Kool Aid does some great work. Hills in the air. There's been some good ones out here. People have told the truth. Science Girls, Savage Live Media. Everybody's told the truth. They call Molly out on all the lying she's doing, that she continues to do. Trying to debunk everything, or or accuse everyone, or everyone involved here of profiting. Of frauding or whatever. And then Unirock, of course, had to put in his two cents and he still hasn't shut the fuck up since. So, I mean, really, if people really want those involved to start talking about other things, then maybe they should have kept their fucking mouth shut when the people involved were already starting to talk about other things. Um, when were the people involved ever shut up about this? They never did. Molly has video after video out going for Dre about phony updates, giving updates they don't know nothing about, spreading rumors and misinformation, and outright lying. So, no, these videos are coming up because people are calling you guys out on your crap because we're tired of it. Thanks. Is it because they're the only two that would go along with your stories? Hmm, interesting. Let's continue. Set. Game over. Game over. I Molly, have shut up. a very powerful support Sorry, system. but be quiet. And I am appreciative of the people in my life, and I'm thankful. It's already no, stressful. No, they're just spies. They don't really like with this. It's hard. It's devastating. They're just spies. They don't really like you. That's Molly's opinion based on who Molly has aligned herself with. Whoa. Exactly. The girls that all had a event. I, wasn't wasn't the the people who started these Facebook groups like Justice for Vaughn, weren't they like her her people? What? You know what? She was huge on social media. People were jealous of her. There was people that worked selling the jewelry under her that this could, that didn't make it for some reason. That it didn't work out. There was a couple that turned on her, and then his biological mother got into it. They started it too on Reddit. Yeah, the biological family that he didn't have no connection with. Uh, but, yeah, um, there was no story here. Molly turned this into 
created this whole nightmare. Isn't that what Katie and not? Oh, I knew Katie would have to come into it. She can't do a video without Katie. Well, we all know in the beginning that I didn't show it was about Katie. But no, this what didn't have nothing to do. This is not Katie's fault. Sorry. Katie had nothing to do with anybody hating Dre or anybody else. Since I've been saying all along that it was those people closest to Dre that betrayed her and like sold all the secrets or whatever to the enemy or some shit. So make up your mind. Is that what happened or were you wrong? No, it was a combination and Molly encouraged every bit of it. You're not blaming this one on KJ because it wasn't KJ. Vendetta against Dre. Well, not all of them. But unfortunately, a few of them got sucked in by all of the ones that had the vendetta. Oh, the they ones get that sucked Molly in, huh? Or aligns herself with. You are. Buddy. So, like, no one, it's not all these people that have an issue with Trey or whatever. You know, right for right or wrong reasons. It, that doesn't matter. It's not the point. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's not the, yeah, it does that's matter. Not the case, though. It, they just get sucked in by, like, one or two that's really true. bad apples, right? Just like you have. You know, it, it's, like the, it's like the shit with Katie. Like, oh, back sure. to Katie. Some people in the community may go a little too far sometimes or whatever. But sure. I mean, there's always outliers and whatever in any group of people. But we didn't, like, it, it isn't like a small group of people who kind of, like, brought everyone else over here or swayed them or brainwashed them or convinced That's them. That's exactly what's no. been done. Katie's pretty much the only person responsible for anyone who started to dislike her. What? How is Katie responsible for any of this? She didn't put out this story. Molly did. Molly, Justin, LB, Goose. They didn't. She didn't create this story. As a matter of fact, she started showing proof, receipts, that they were misinforming everybody, that they were outright lying. So how is Katie responsible for any of this? Wow, you live in your own obsession. I'm guessing that could be the same for Dre. I mean, it's the same for me, right? Right. I mean, those who don't like me, I mean, were you brainwashed into not liking me or to not tr trusting me or to not, I don't know, whatever, aligning with me or whatever? No, it was something I said or did that rubbed you the wrong way. I get that. Mm -hmm. no, it, it's don't. not somebody else's fault. <laughs> no. I just, it's. Yeah, OK. Buddied up. Interesting how she points that out once again. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end it here because it goes on. And I just, I got to go give my mind a, oh, this, she's, I don't know. I just still feel like I'm in the twilight zone. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you next time.